Hey guys, so basically we're looking at the situation where people can't sign strong field, people can't go ahead and put out their guns, all because it's all binded to R. Now R is a very basic, you know, bind, but it's a very useful bind in the game. This is so close to your fingers. And I'll be making a whole video on which key binds to use and stuff for the best performance in the game, why you should use them and everything like that, and the way like why the pros use them and all that stuff. Anyway, furthermore, let's go ahead and get into the video. Now down here, for me, I use them personally for going ahead and switching to my shotgun. So we're going to go ahead, run over to my software. So we have my software here. We're going to find a bind. So this works with Logitech. As long as you have a software, it'll work Logitech. And also Steel Series works very easily with. Go ahead. Now this is changed to L as you can see there. We're going to press save. Jump over here. Now when I press R, it's going to think I was pressing L. So instantly, bam instantly works there's no more issue anymore nothing like that now just make sure you go ahead and have everything rebinded especially if you do the restore binds uh selection because that's what fixed it for me personally i know a lot more people have not had the fix like that it's not that easy and stuff but in the, the day it's better than nothing may as well have it fixed and just make sure it's binded to something that you know you do not use so like saying on the other side of your keyboard you want to accidentally press you want to accidentally do anything so the worst thing is to go ahead and accidentally press something on the other side of your keyboard. Furthermore, if you guys want, uh, we got other people to show you that it does work. You can make a ticket in the Discord. We got some people. He didn't answer, obviously. But over here, this kid, he answered, fixed his up, fixed his up. Everything was getting fixed up instantly. But if you also want to go ahead and do anything to like improve your game experience or anything on your PC, go ahead, jump to optimization in the um, description will have the link set there to be able to join the discord tier 1 tweaks are your best tier 3 tweaks are your worst obviously definitely great tweaks all of them you don't need all of them make a ticket first tell me your specs and stuff tell me your issues and I'll let you know which ones are best because you don't always need the tier 1 tweaks to get the best performance we'll still offer free tweaks here and there I haven't posted any free tweaks for a while so I want to do that soon I'll be dropping a video on that soon also and if you feel like, oh no, he's a scam, got a bunch of people in here, everyone with the yellow tag on their name, they have all been tweaked. So go check it out, it drops your ping, improves your latency, we have some people that do comp, we have some people that do everything bro, and if you need your channel notifications before I go live and stuff, and a shout out to whoever goes ahead and do the most gifts and stuff. Also, for right now, if you invite 10 people, you get 50% off on your tweaks. So instantly, if you really wanted, 50% off that. Bam, you just made it $55 for yourself. This one, bam, it's $12.50 now. Which honestly, I'll just cut that to $12 because I'll not be dead doing the 50 cents. And also, if you need more clarification, this is a screenshot off my phone. Go ahead, we got clicks here. He sh said shout out and stuff. Furthermore, talking with him, he went and said he's going to shout out if he wins XF and CS. So, hope he wins XF and CS because I need that for his people. And yes, along with the tweaks, if we do come over here, I have them all set up, and it will all look like this. I'll go ahead, I'll jump on there on any desk, I'll set everything up, I'll run everything for you, I'll make sure everything's set up, I'll jump over to your task manager, and everything will be running just how you need it to be running. At the end of the day, I'm running a Cry 9900K, and a 1080i, it's still running a stable 240 FPS in-game. So just think about that for a second, and I hope that all helps you guys. Anyway, everyone have a good day.